So it has happened. It has now happened to me. And man, this is going to be rough. I rolled a crystal and this, I've already put all my bones I had into it. I had like 1500 bones. It required 3000 bone. I, I'm like, what? 3000 bones. What am, how? How do I, I mean, even with all the vaults I've ran, I did not have 3000. So I've got to come up with a solution to get 3000. I can tell you it's a pretty slow process just to even grind out, you know, a few hundred of them. Um, so what I'm thinking about doing, well, is swapping my mob farm over. Currently we have blaze running. I'm going to need water. I'm also going to need to transform this. Uh, let's grab a few buckets. Um, I'm going to have to transform my mob farm. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. First of all, though, I need to get it transferred like almost immediately to skeletons because right now it's blaze and blaze are kind of nasty. Um, so let's see, skeleton, do I have enough eggs? I have two eggs. I don't know if this will convert it. We'll see. We'll see if it converts it. Would it be better to use wither skeletons versus skeletons? Cause don't wither skeletons also drop bones and they also drop coal. I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna go with the mob spawner here. Okay, so I need to tap into this. Um, Probably best to just pop in here and hopefully use my enormous reach and to avoid that to avoid this I think I can pick this up from the corner <laughs> oh that reach is ridiculous pick up that reach and last but not least I don't think I can get to that corner but I'm gonna try boom oh wow the reach is crazy so now I gotta just kind of not die and burn well of course i'm gonna i'm not gonna be able to get in my hole you know it's okay these guys are gonna die anyways all right let's let's all right let's stop spawning <laughs> all right let's see if i can't change this spawner i locked it in they're skeletons right now i need to make sure they stay skeletons look at you look at you go Wow, okay. So, yeah, now we have skeleton spawning. Um, the thing I want to do, though, is I definitely want... Yeah, I want you to step on that plate. But I want this to be formatted a little bit different. This was great for blazes. I don't think this is the greatest way to get mobs into an area. So I'm going to reformat this. So this right here is the format, and it should work. So long as I'm not in here, of course, and we got the lights shut off, this will work perfectly have them going to the same place where everything else was going <sighs> let's see if I can even get back up here all right so this should lock them in ah uh, yeah perfect look watch them oh they see me though that's a problem but yeah this is gonna be a lot faster I think because as you can see yeah see how quickly they teleport the lava pushed them so slow but this is going to allow them to be much quicker at moving around all right We'll close that back up. And I think we're good. Yeah, look how quick they move now. So much faster. It's going to definitely improve the speeds of our farm. And just about any mob we can put in here now. Uh, we can put cows in here. We can put uh, anything. Anything in there. Ah, it's going to be a much nicer mob spawner. Also, much louder. I still wish I could get rid of those sounds. Well, while that's running, I guess it's time to open up some mystery boxes. Yep, uh, that's going to be fun. 600 of them. Yeah, I probably have a bunch of relic booster packs as well. I should probably open as well. This is going to take a... Uh, yeah, it's going to take a minute. I'd have to say that actually worked out quite well. 333 left after opening up all of those. Uh, yeah, that was, that was actually pretty nice. I would definitely say. Now it's time for the relic booster packs. And I think, yeah, we have over a thousand of those. By the way, one thing that I forgot to mention about Relic Booster Packs, I just went up to level 76. You get experience also. Notice my experience bar goes up as you get these. So you're not just getting nothing when something goes empty. Um, you usually get some experience. And sometimes that experience can be a little bit more than, you know, basically the equivalent to a burger. It's pretty nice when you can get all these. Plus, I'm yeah, there's there's some things in here that I'm getting. I would like to complete my dragon set if this would let me. Wow. Yeah, we're definitely we're going to be just generating like duplicates before long of just all of these. I think we we're missing I think the this one 
this one and this one. So we're missing the emote set, the dragon set, and then the shield man. And then I think we have all nine of them. I'm, I'm pretty sure. So after that, at least I was able to generate another essence set, but I mean, I can't even use these. So even if I craft them and then I smelt the statue down to get the lemon, I can't use lemon because I have to have the mod or the, the uh, I have to have that research unlocked uh, to be able to use vault power ups. Um, so yeah, vault apples and vault fruits would be required before I can technically use those. Um, and the lemon only gives you 30 extra seconds in uh, the specific vault that you eat it in. So it's it's not it's not the best thing in the world, honestly, especially for how much it takes to get these relics. But my uh, my bone farm should be doing quite well. I'm gonna check it back up on that. So while I was waiting, I also went up to my mob farm. Finally got this done. Uh, I have two other crystals. I'm trying to get some crystals so I can run them back to back because I really want to run some vaults. I'm kind of missing the vault runs. I've not ran them in a couple of days as I was working on these build projects. So after mining for some more vault rocks, man, I can tell you this is really nice, by the way, being able to put this to void pickup so you can just mine for very specific things. Oh, that's that's a very nice use for that. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and break these nine vault rocks. I guarantee we are going to get a lot. Uh, I don't think I've broken more than like five or six of these, I don't think. And last time I broke that many, we had like 30. So... May the vault or gods be with us. 26. I mean, that's not bad for nine. I mean, actually, that's pretty meh for nine. Man, I have gotten really lucky rolls with this, though. So I need to refill my greater band of mana because I just used it all up. Um, and I wanted to show off this uh, this bellow here. So uh, this bellow just required a rune of air. And you basically place it so that way this is facing the mana pool. And you can have more than one on a mana pool. Uh, but what this does is this will basically fill this with mana quicker than normal. Um, normally, this takes a little while to get this going up. But you can just place this here. It will fill so much faster. Also, it will make the Terra Shatterer grow in, uh, in speed faster as well. And like I said, you can have more than one on a mana pool. And it does work. It works really well. Look at that. It's so cute. <laughs> I don't know if it, you know how many of you guys have ever had a wood stove in your house and then needed to get that fire up and running and ended up using like a bellow. Sometimes they have a foot pedal one or uh, you get the one you squeeze with your hand. But still, Ed, I love these little things. Reminds me of uh, like grandma and grandpa's house, you know, the good old days of wood stove, man. Super, super nice. I'm sure a lot of people still have wood stoves. But anyways, just wanted to show this off. So I know a lot of you guys probably want to know what my rolls are looking like at this point. Like how expensive are these crystals to make? And this is a good example of this. So this is going to need almost 6,000 basalt. Um, 64 redstone, that's not too bad. Um, and then almost, yeah, it almost, yeah, it's 2,200 rotten flesh. Um, that's going to be a pain to get. But yeah, this is how expensive these crystals are getting. And these things right here, these mob farm related items... They're getting pretty rough. We might have to come up with a new system for farming these mobs. And I mean, we have the tools to do it. So after farming a few more uh, of the uh, the crystals, I have, you know, basically a whole row. I think I have nine of them at this point. But yeah, I have all of these that we've gotten from vaults. I probably want to make a few Paxels, I think, because the, the current Paxel that I have is completely dead. It has Rush 2 on it, which is insane. I love the Rush 2. Um, this one right here, but as you can see, it is uh, about to croak on us. Yeah. So, I need to make a few more Paxels. And hopefully, I can get another one that either has speed. Because, like, I'm completely fine with, like, it, it rolling speed or haste. Like, haste is great. But I definitely want to roll a few more for sure. Let's go ahead and make just a couple of these. And let's see. We'll see what some of these roll. So, there's four of them. Oh, I mean, our anvil's probably going to break. And let's just see. Hopefully we can get something good. Fragile. Oh, man. We're already starting off bad. Auto smelt. Gross. I mean, it's nice for certain things. Fragile. No, where's our luck today? What destroys mind blocks? Ouch. That one's really bad. All of those rolled. Awful. What? All right, let's roll a couple more. Hopefully I have enough Biniotite to be able to do this. If not, we'll just end up with a blank one. Maybe. 
Um, let's see. Let's pop this back in here. I got to craft this one. There's four more. And requ it requires levels. Oh, I got to fill up with some levels. Let's see how this is going to go now. Give me something good. Oop, there's rush one. That's actually really nice. Okay. Auto smelts. Come on. And rush one. So we have two rush ones. That means we basically have, you know, a little bit of uh, a little bonus there. I like that. Um, and then we have one more. I might have enough to be able to craft one of these. We need perfect biniotite. Okay. Make four of those. And essence in that. Let's see what this extra one rolls. Maybe we'll get super lucky. And no, we roll fragile. Oh, man. At least we got rush. You know what? I'll take it. Because this is this is perfectly fine. All right, so for the most part, I'm about ready to run into a vault. I do want to go ahead and take all of my broken down uh, statues. We have tons. See if I can't go ahead and get another. Yeah, we should be pretty close. I do have a few. If not, of course, I have a whole set basically waiting to, to die off or to unalive <laughs> here soon. We're really close. Uh, do I have any more? I think that was it. One there. All right. So yeah, once my next set is full, finished, we should be good. All of these are basically just filling up these chests again. Wow. And I've dumped these chests already once before. Ooh, we got glass in that one. That's nice. I ended up using all my glass for that massive tree over there. So now as I uh, make my way to a vault, it's, it's so much more dramatic because I get to walk up here and float up to the top. Oh, this is so much better. So much more dramatic and activate the portal now look how much bigger this is and by the way this kind of lets you know that you can use different styles of blackstone for your portal it does work and as you can see i have my relics now moved over here to help and support our massive portal oh man with all of our armor stands around us rooting us on oh boy i'm so ready to do this all right so I have all my stuff ready to go. We have our shards, by the way, we're so close to being able to pull out another one of these unknown items. Uh, apparently there's a void ore in there. Interesting. May the vault gods be with us. I'm running a, uh, a, uh, a Windaris, uh, idol. So hopefully we're good. Oh man. Let's, let's, let's do this. Oh, every time. Strong in an easy vault. That's, that's nice. Very nice. And what do we got over here? That is a kill mobs item. I'm, I'm hoping that our axe, I might have to put another efficiency on here if it does not break the, uh, the chest fast enough. I'm hoping that chest will break fast enough. And look what room we get. Oh my gosh, what a way to test. Oh yeah, this will be plenty fast enough. Wow. Uh, I don't think it gets any better than that. Look at this room. We got to solve the puzzle that's downstairs as well. By the way, I don't think I have any buckets with me, but I think one of these are filled with um, fluid. They're filled with that void fluid that speeds up your time. Really dangerous stuff, by the way. And that has nothing in it. I might take that cog that's up there. Those cogs are actually kind of expensive. Now that I, I look, know what I can take... I might need to start taking them. All right, I'm down underground. Let's get this done. Press me to start. And. And here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, what? Come on now. There we go. I'm pretty sure I did it first the right time. Oh, goodness. The command blocks underneath. All that stuff. Oh, and the loot's so good. I have not gotten one of these rooms yet, but look at that. Oh, I'm gonna be sure to grab some of this while I'm in here. On to our next room. 
Oh, this is nice. Nice for my first run in a little while. That was really nice getting that room. Ah, and there's our first obelisk. So yeah, breaking chests, still just as good with that that single haste. So, I mean, if I put efficiency on here, maybe it would help. But I think it would take a lot more efficiency to get this really any faster than what it currently is at. Ooh, obelisk. Look at that. So with five minutes left, I think I'm ready to fight the boss. I know this boss is going to be a little bit more challenging simply because of where I'm fighting it at. Because you get teleport underground. That's usually the scariest part, but hopefully I can keep him from teleporting. There we go. And he gets wrecked. Just like that. Very, very nice. And I would say this was a very successful run. That's for sure. I can't wait to see how many vault diamonds and goodies we got from this. So let's check our box and see what we got. Not bad, <laughs> but this wasn't what the uh, the prize was. The prize was all inside of here. Let's check our vault cookies or goodies. Five vault diamonds we got from that run. I would say that was a pretty good run. Would definitely say so. As far as trade statues go, we got uh, five of those and one gifter statue, which is really really nice. Um, and yeah, so. I would say that was a pretty decent run. Also, with all the other stuff that we ended up getting as well, like all the mystery boxes and relic booster packs, all of these, we got an echo gem as well out of that run. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, things are getting a little bit nicer as we move along in this mod pack. Welp, it's that time again after just unloading all of our stuff. Bam, I am ready to get back into another vault. Let's head back up here and lock and load. Oh, boy. Let's do this. Vault, run, and may the vault gods be ever in our favor. Difficult, plentiful, and gilded. Uh, this is going to be fun. And also, look at the look what's required. Difficult's going to make this a little bit harder, though. Um, hmm. The gilded's going to be nice, though. The first room, like literally our second room we walk into. Oh, this has got to be good. It requires three. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we can find another green. Oh my gosh, we just found a green one. You've got to be kidding me. This is perfect. We now have three greens. Let's get all of these placed in here. So I can place them down. Oh my gosh. Place that. Our yellow on our puzzle. And two pinks. And then all greens. This is good. And boom, <laughs> our first room and we get this. Oh, this has got to be good. Okay, let's crack this open. Let's see what it has to offer. Oh boy. I mean, these can be traps, so. Yep. Oh, so many goodies. So many goodies out of that. Wow, nice. And all the armor, by the way, opening up all that armor is going to be so much fun. All right, I got to clear this room out, though, of all the chests. Oh, 
Ooh, I just got another green. Ah, that'll be able to go back into our system for sure. There we go, for another another day. Ooh, one of our requirements is drowned. And look at this. We got a nice little pool of drowned that spawned here. Uh, am I gonna get lucky? Probably not. Yes. Yeah, probably not. Nice, just grab some escalium from here. Uh, since we do have plentiful, this is actually a nice, uh, a nice little place to run. Thankfully, I have all this reach. Makes clearing these out so much easier. Oh my gosh. There was another Escalium. I'm <laughs> in a different different area. I'll take it though. All right, time for me to farm up the drowned for our scavenger vault. And I think I got, yeah, the last piece we needed from them. And I have everything from the skeleton. The only thing I need is one more of these and we should be good. Go ahead and turn that in. And now all we really need is, uh, yeah, to kill some zombies to basically complete this. Nice, and I get a tree room. These right here are the perfect rooms to farm zombies, for sure. They spawn so frequently. I believe I now have enough. At 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, I have 24. So yeah, we're basically done. I have seven minutes, though. I want to kind of use that time. I'm going to go branch off of uh, the... Room that we have over here that has the chest. And we should be good. Yeah, <laughs> we have everything. Oh boy. Well, with four minutes left, I think this is like the perfect time to just sort of go ahead and turn this in, I think, and get our scavenger crate. This is awesome. <laughs> oh, I love completing scavengers. So let's check out our scavenger crate. Oh man, these are always so full of goodies. Pandora's box. And I'm pretty sure that gave us tomatoes. Uh, we got another identified relic. What? That's a random chance. We got a relic. Oh! <laughs> what is it? Be something I don't already have. Oh my gosh. 
We got another relic. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That puts us at six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six artifacts, not relics. Sorry, artifacts. We have another artifact. Oh, and I love this one. We are running the double one. And it just, it's so fitting since we just built this for all of our, uh, all of our lovely Eternals. So yeah, we got a cryo chamber one. Ah, I love this. You know what? With our luck being as good as it is, why don't we also go ahead and test this out? Give me something good. Oh man, we just a perfect, <laughs> this one's so easy to make. All right. Well, you can't always be super lucky. Anything else amazing we got out of here? Just a bunch of gear. I'm going to go ahead and roll all this gear and see what we get. So out of all of that gear, I mean, I didn't get anything super amazing except for this. This was a new pair of leggings that I, I know I do not have. Um, I'm pretty sure I have 11 and this helmet is a number seven. So I'm going zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I definitely did not have this helmet. Uh, now the rarities on there uh, don't matter after Scrappy. So Scrappy is zero, one, two. Um, and then, yeah, the rarities, uh, this, the, any of this armor can be any rarity, um, but the numbers are all going to be the same. So like, uh, that this right here could roll common and still be number 35. Uh, and then as far as where is 35, let's see, this is 34. So 35 is right here. And I do have legs for this. It looks very similar to this set. That's why I was like, oh, is it something for this? But no, it's its own thing. Look at that. Like you kind of be wearing your own own armor there, I guess. Um, as far as Scrappy goes, I think the only piece of Scrappy I am missing is the pants for Scrappy 2. And I don't think I've rolled that yet. That's zero and that's one and one. So yeah, I'm still waiting for my Scrappy 2 leggings. And then I have a full Scrappy set. <laughs> Everything else I should have. I think these are all... Yeah, this is Scrappy 0... These are 11, uh, zero, one, uh, like 11 should be over here somewhere. Pretty sure it's this black chess piece. This is also 11. Yeah. So I'm not worried about it. Their rarities and like he's changing the rarities, but I do want their full set because these are all decorative and I could eventually just, you know, go, oh, I want this set and I can transmog, uh, whatever I want into a current set. Like this one's almost complete, which looks really cool. So as far as today goes, I think I got quite a bit done. I'm super excited. I think next episode or so, uh, as we come back next week, uh, I'm pretty sure I am going to be running another one of the challenge rooms, um, which will technically be recorded on Sunday, which will, yeah, that way it's right before the Monday. So I still have time to do a challenge vault. That'll be the one that will be episode back on Monday. But anyways... I'm going to do that. Uh, we also have Architect Vaults that's going to be coming soon. I'm kind of excited for that as well. Um, and I should have enough now that I've ran a whole bunch of uh, un uh, Uncatalyst uh, Vaults. We can start to get back into some more Catalyst Vaults and hopefully get some CRP runs and all kinds of cool stuff. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already and give this video a huge thumbs up. And of course, we're going to thank the sponsor of today's video. And that, my friends, is going to go to... It was supposed to be a bird. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna call him Bird. <laughs> this is what it turns into in Minecraft. Ah, oh, the weird symbols that you can use on Discord. Thanks, Bird. You're amazing. <laughs> Thank you for supporting the channel. And of course, guys, if you're interested in joining the Discord uh, and supporting the channel as well, or just joining the Discord and hanging out with me, I do hang out in the voice channels quite often, especially when recording. So be sure to check that out. I also stream there on Discord as well. Uh, basically, my whole recording process. So be sure to check that out. Guys, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Click that subscribe button, comment down below, and have a great day. As always, thanks for watching.